I haven't even brushed my teeth this morning. This is so gross, Nil. Nil smelly. It's good that we're filming this video today because I literally feel disgusting. I feel like dirt. I feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind. Today I'm going on a date with like a guy. So this is gonna be really interesting. So yeah, you get the gist of it. I got a date tonight at 7.30, he's picking me up. It's currently 1 p.m. I obviously am aware that I have six hours to get ready and I'm doing this way too early, but I wanna film TikToks after I get ready. <laughs> So yeah, I've got a lot of shit to do. Starting off with like a shower. I also quickly just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Truly Beauty. And I'm so happy that they're a part of this video because I was going to talk about their products either way. So this just worked out perfectly for everyone. So let's get started. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to go shower and then I'll see you guys when I get out. See you in like 25 minutes or see you in like 10 minutes. See you in like 15 minutes. And that was a lot longer than 15 minutes because my playlist was on a really good shuffle and I just, I just had to keep it going, but I finally got out. I'm gonna go change. We're back from the shower. I also asked you guys to send me any like girl talk questions that you guys want me to answer while getting ready for my date. A lot of you guys also asked me to drop my shaving tutorial, my shaving routine. I use a men's razor. This is from Gillette. Before I shave, I always exfoliate the area I'm going to shave so that like it can remove all the dead skin and the shave will be just like a clean one instead of one with like bumps. It just makes it nice and smoother. And then for my shaving product, I've been using the Truly Beauty Cocoa Cloud Whipped Shaving Butter. And I've been using this for about two and a half months now. And I can safely say that this is probably one of the best shaving products I've ever, ever, ever used. And I've had my fair share of experiences with shaving. I've used men's products, kitchen ingredients like coconut butter, conditioners, shaving gels, mousses, creams, butters, like anything you can think of. I've used them all and I have pretty sensitive skin. So I easily get razor bumps and cuts and burns like this, literally like this. I'm sick of it, which is why I tend to switch back to waxing, but then that's so painful. And like, you need to wait for your hair to grow back and I'm too impatient. So then I go back to shaving but then I'm like fuck this I hate shaving and then I go back to waxing I'm just on this really gross cycle and I don't like it but for the past two and a half months I've been using this and I've no had no complaints because this really just does the job on the first try the main reason why this product passes the test is because during the summertime I can get really lazy sometimes putting on moisturizer after shaving is just too much work I'm not telling you you should do this but after using this product like I feel a little bit less guilty about not putting on moisturizer because this moisturizes my skin for me like in the shower in the process of shaving so I just feel like I don't really need to. Don't get me wrong, I do it most of the time. I still moisturize most of the time, but if I'm in a rush, there's absolutely no way I'm gonna moisturize. Like I'm not gonna make time to moisturize my skin. Like no. And it also just smells like freaking pina coladas. Kind of smells like Malibu, the drink, not the place. I love it. It also makes me wanna kind of eat it. Don't do that. Don't eat it, but you can admire it because it looks so satisfying. After every single shower, no matter if I shave or not, I just go over with some baby oil. This is literally from like CVS, just normal baby oil. Let it rinse all over my body and then I immediately get out and pat dry. That's my shower routine. I received this product around the same time I received like my Truly products. And so we've been testing them out together and I've also fallen in love with this. It's from Paula's Choice. Wow, is it amazing? I love it. The only complaint I have is that it kind of smells like dirt. Other than that, product is very effective and I really like the way it makes my skin feel after I take it off. I wanted to talk about something that's a little bit personal, but I feel like it'd be a good tip for my gals out there that are kind of like uncomfortable in their skin and they're kind of shy about their bodies. I did a little bit of researching and a little bit of reading. Being able to stay naked for a long period of time actually boosts your confidence levels like immensely. And not just being like shy and naked, but like if you're shy wearing a bikini, even if you're like comfortable with your body and you don't mind the way it looks, you just don't like showing it. They basically did this research with like people who stayed naked after after they got out of the shower for like a couple of minutes and then a couple hours and they compared their confidence and like self-esteem levels like through like surveys 
and they basically came to the conclusion that the people that stayed naked the longest once they got out of the shower they were also the ones that had the highest confidence levels so i thought that was really interesting and ever since i did this research i've been trying to be in my birthday suit after the shower for as long as i can in efforts of being more comfortable with my body so like normally I would be doing all of this, like brushing my hair, my skincare, exfoliating, makeup, hair care, like all of that, I would be trying to do it like in my birthday suit. And at first, I really struggled. When I first did it, I literally just felt uncomfortable. Even though there was no one in my bathroom, my doors are locked, no one can come in, like I'm 100% I'm safe. I just didn't want to be. And then I was like, why? Like there's literally no one here. It's just me, like I'm shy of myself like I'm shy because I'm here like no it's literally me and just my body so I did it and now I can go for like I want to say like 30 minutes and then after that I'm like okay I want to put my clothes on now take what you want from this try it out if you want to just thought I'd share I just realized that I actually have time to moisturize because I have to wait for this to dry I'm gonna continue with my truly beauty products and I'm gonna use the unicorn fruit whipped body butter I know you guys have seen this all over the internet it is it's spectacular. It's literally a unicorn in a jar. I want to eat it. There is still so much left of this product because a little goes a really long way because it's very, very like rich. It's so rich and moisturizing. You gotta get the elbows because don't want no ashy elbows on this date. You see that glow, bro? Do you see that? She's so smooth. Also, I'm gonna put on some lip balm. This is the Truly Beauty Unicorn Fruit Lip Plumping Balm. Like, ugh, look at that. Tell me that's something that you don't want to gobble up right now. You can literally see that it's very, very moisturizing and I love it. I just wanna like slather this on. After I took off this mask, like my nose area, like it just feels smoother. You know when you like touch your nose and you can literally feel all the bumps and like all the clogged pores? Oh, literally makes me wanna gag, but sadly that happens to my skin like every other day, so it's kind of annoying. What do you do when you feel tired of everything? How do you motivate yourself back up again when you're just tired and you feel like giving up? It's something that a lot of us deal with and I feel like a lot of people don't even know how to deal with it. Not saying that I know how to deal with it, but like I found ways to cope with it. First of all, I realized that the present right now, your present state, that is a result of your past self. So like a year ago you, that's a result of that person like working up to this moment. Everything you have right now is almost a result of your past doing. So if you don't like your past doings, and you're gonna you're gonna have to do something different to get to a different state if you don't like this present state you're in. That's like a key into realizing like, oh, here's what I shouldn't do, here's what I should do. Obviously everything I'm saying applies differently to different situations, so just also keep that in mind. But in general terms, I think that's really motivating because at least you have a guide on like what to and what not to do because you can literally just compare yourself to your past self. And that is true. The only person you should be comparing yourself to is your past self. And babe, if you're not judging your past self being like, what the hell was I doing? You're doing something wrong right now because you should be growing and evolving as time goes by. And if you are not embarrassed of your past self, it's because you haven't grown enough to be embarrassed. Someone asked how to not be jealous of other girls. I thought this was really interesting because I saw a TikTok about this and then I did some more research because it really piqued my interest because I I used to do this a lot and it was actually one of the reasons why I was really insecure. I used to, you know, like follow all these girls on Instagram that I would be jealous of because like they had things that I didn't, I would just keep up with them. Even though I didn't like them, I bashed on these girls, which was so wrong of me, but like that was because I was insecure in, within myself. And so I was just like projecting that on, onto other people. Once I started getting better, like mentally and emotionally, I started asking myself like why I would follow these girls and like literally torture myself, even though I don't like them and I say I don't like them. And I was like, oh, it's like because I was jealous or something. No. It's not because you're jealous, it's because of internalized self-hate. Keeping up with those people that you don't like, that 
entire process reinforces self-hate. If you're insecure, obviously your, your mind works in a way where you crave the feeling of hating yourself. It's not necessarily you being jealous, it's you seeking for that self-hatred that you get after being jealous of someone. You crave that feeling, which is so fucked. Like our minds, like why do we do that? The best way to overcome this is keeping a gratitude journal. It kind of seems like illogical and stupid, like I'm not gonna keep a journal, just do it. I keep one on my bedside table and I write down one thing I'm grateful for before I go to bed. It literally takes one second and I promise you, you will feel a lot better. You guys are getting like psychology lessons from Nil today about learning how to love yourself i'm kind of liking this direction we're headed in tbh anyway let's go pick out our outfit because i was supposed to do that before doing my makeup and i didn't because i was too lazy so i gotta do it now hmm i think i want to go with blue jeans because i don't want to be overdressed i want to wear like a tank top that's cute we could go for like a purple hmm. we found the basics of the outfit the core of the outfit, the shirt and the jeans. I wanna do my hair and then get deeper into the outfit, so that's when I'll tell you guys the outfit details. I've never been on a date. I don't know what I'm supposed to do or talk about. Using my Living Proof Frizz Vanishing Oil, such an amazing product. If you have frizzy hair, you need this. Put a couple drops. I honestly think I might just leave it like this because I like the way it looks, it's kind of like poofy, kind of wavy. I don't think I'm doing anything to my hair, which is so nice to hear because doing my hair is my least favorite part of getting ready. This is this. Let's see. I think I wanna go with this one just because it's a little bit more casual. Everything I'm wearing is from Zara and that's completely coincidental. I always like this jacket. It's just like a blue oversized comfortable casual jacket. This pop of green is from Zara as well. I think these are like the viral Zara TikTok jeans. Woo! Woo! These are my... What the hell were they called? This is the bag I'm bringing. Guess where it's from? Zara. But honestly, I'm liking the vibes. Ta-da! Okay, jewelry tour. This is from Gemini Jewels. This is from Majuri. It, it's my end necklace, you guys know. Gucci, these are from a mall near my house. The first earring is from Target, and then the second one is also from Gemini Jewels. Same with this side, first one is from Target, and then my second earring is from Majuri. It's got this cute little like seashell on it, and it's so adorable. I think I wanna do my nails because they, they literally look like a 12 year old hands. It's disgusting. I'm gonna go do that real quick. Oh, I'll see you with some cute ass hands after we're ready for our date i know i said i was gonna paint my nails but they're really short and undone and i feel like if i put on nail polish it's gonna bring more attention to how ugly they are so i just chose to leave it natural so like no one will look at them well thank you guys so much for watching this video a huge thank you to truly beauty for sponsoring this i will leave the link to every single product i used including the truly beauty ones in my description so you guys can check it out but i love you guys and i'll see you next week bye guys